I'm used to being outnumbered in this studio, but tonight, boy, oh boy, we've got the membranes in and we need a little bit more of a, an explanation going on, which I will turn to John Robb now. Hello, John. All right, Mark, how are you? I'm good, thanks, yeah. mate. Yeah, before we go any further, Henry Rollins, is he a friend of yours? I know Henry, yeah. He's great. He, he did his uh, little gig, uh, his talking gig the other week in Manchester. It's fantastic. You great stories about David Bowie, Lemmy. Yeah. But it's great. It's like two and a half hours. He doesn't even breathe. It's really Really? Fast. You seem to remember that time, is it about 1988, when the first time he did Manchester, you were sat in front of me when Rollins did his first spoken word in town. Yeah, got you. It was different then, it was psychotic then, everyone's terrified of him now, he's just, he's kind of funny with great stories, isn't he? He's well, I remember, I tell you what, if ever I need to write a book about my life, will you write it and I won't even need to be there. <laughs> I remember seeing him, but I don't remember anything else about him. That, that's the only bit of your life I can remember. <laughs> we, we could spin that out to 300 pages. Yeah, it was a long evening. If you get, yeah. paid, if you get paid by the word, it'd probably be all right, wouldn't it? 500 pages. Well, there you yeah. go, sorted. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, so we have got the membranes in, but you are accompanied by a choir tonight. So, I mean, it's going to take a while this in itself. Would you like to introduce everybody in the room, please, mate, and explain? OK, yeah, we have a choir, and this is quite weird because I'm not the kind of person who has a job. I'm not very good at doing jobs. But about two years ago, I had to go on Mondays and go to a, a music college called BIM in Manchester and sort of pretend to be a teacher. And some of the people here were, were in the class, so now I'm going to read all the names out and we could do this like a register. Because <laughs> I used to have to do the register. It was really ridiculous, like, sitting there thinking, why am I reading a register out? It's like, it's like almost like a joke thing. So I'll tell you something, well, before you go any further, yeah, I was telling my mother-in-law today about the fact that we had a choir in. Is, is, uh, is this like a Blackpool end of the pier kind of joke? No, yeah. it's not. Not at all. And, uh, and she said to me, will it be your job to tell them off if they're naughty? <laughs> I think she thought they're all going to be about four or five years old. Yeah. Well, I thought you meant us. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You're always naughty. You're the membranes. It's your job. <laughs> okay, sorry, mate. Carry on. Right, okay. Um, here's the register. Zat Kaluska. Are you here? Yeah. Present. There you go. Uh, Nikisha Sequira. Yeah. I've got your name nearly right now. Elizabeth Weedy. Yeah. Jess Lebon. Yeah. Chloe Jones. Yeah. Sarah Thurston. Yeah. Nicola Tuffy. Yeah. Lois Holmes. Hi. Jess Howarth. Yeah. Melody Hunt. Yeah. Uh, Pia Burrows. Yeah. Stacey Southworth. Hey. And, of course, the conductor. Claire Pilling. See, we're clapping. You've not even done anything yet. That's how, that's how nice we are. And introduce the band, uh, the band members, please. On guitar, Peter Birchmore. Yay! On guitar, the other guitar, Nick Brown. Yay! And on drums, Mr. Robert Haynes. Boo! Only oh. joking. <laughs> What's okay. wrong with drummers? Oh, blue. We don't fall apart without drummers. That's Absolutely. Uh, so, what's the first song, John? Uh, Dark Energy. Great. Go for it, everybody. Mystery of the cold. 
That was magnificent, wasn't it? Just amazing. The membranes, I knew them when they had nout. Uh, that was dark energy. And, uh, still, still have nout. <laughs> and that was fantastic. Really great. Thank you so much. So uh, tell me where you got the choir bug then, John. I was at uh, Tallinn last year, the, which is in Estonia, for any uh, geography fans out there. And they have this amazing uh, music conference called Tallinn Music Week. And, you know, you go to the, you, the few of these things, you know, they have loads of bands playing around town. And I thought, why well, I was going to watch nearly everything as much as I can, but they said they had a choir, this choir called the Serene Choir. And I thought, I've not seen a choir play for years. And I thought, I'll go to that. And I went to see them and thought, they're absolutely amazing. I was totally blown away. And I, was, I actually went down with Valbertine, and she came with me to watch it because I'd been doing it in conversation with her. And I was saying to her, that's amazing. I'm going to do a gig with these. And, and a bit, I think she thought, that was a bit crazy. You know, how's that going to work with this kind of music? But I could hear... You know, with the choir singing in all the drones and the voices, there's a lot of drones and the music. I thought that's going to match. So we, I just emailed them. We put it together. We did a gig in Tallinn uh, last October, whatever. Yeah, early October with the choir. And it, and it was, we winged it. It was pretty close. We only had about a one hour rehearsal, but it worked really good. And then we, then we thought, well, why not do this in England as well? So we're going to do it in England, but with an English choir. So we've got a better choir now. Oh, <laughs> I have right. to say that wherever, wherever you are, you know, you have to keep changing yeah. your allegiance to your choir. Absolutely, you? you've got yeah. to box clever in this game. Aren't you? You're outnumbered, so you've got to do the right thing, haven't you? You, you have to, Mark, yes. But it is great, you know, like you say, to have the vision to do it, really, because normally, if you see this kind of a scenario, it might be with elbow or, you know, kind of like more anthemic kind of music, if you like, rather than a band that came out of the punk rock explosion, for want of a better Yeah, phrase. it's funny, because when we went to Estonia, we went to do all radio and TV stuff, and they were saying, why is a punk band playing with a choir? We said, well, we're, we're kind of punk, but our definition of punk is not what your definition of punk is. Punk was like, just do what the hell you like, really. And that's the greatest thing about the membranes. It's totally free. We can change what we do every single day. Musically, I mean, maybe no, we'll go with it, but it's, we have the freedom to do that, you know? And, and it made sense 
in our heads to work with the choir. You know, we could hear it, and when we did it, it worked absolutely fantastically. You know, it's a, it was. I didn't. I didn't. Before I'd done it, I never worked the choir before. I didn't know anything about choirs. I didn't even know they had conductors or anything. So we went in with his feet first. You know, it's like every choir. It's a bit like every superhero has a sidekick, and every choir has a conductor, don't they, Claire? Yeah. So Claire, you're a sidekick then. Is, are, you happy, are you happy with that description? I, I'm always happy. <laughs> or, or, or is Claire the, the superhero and she's got like 20,000 sidekicks, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, that way, yeah. Or, now, are, or are we the sidekicks, you know? Are, we, are you Batman and we're Robin? You've, you've dug dug your, John, you've dug your hole already, mate. <laughs> I think mate. I dug my way out of it you, there. You've, yeah. you've, <laughs> you've, you've managed to upset both sides of them. They've all left, Mark. What are we going to do? We're going to just oh. have to... I'll help. You were just stuck with us doing the session on our own now without the choir. I'll muck in. <laughs> um, you've been, you toured America, I know that much. Yeah, we just about recovered from that. It was, you know, America's like absolutely knackering and everything because it, it's about 10 hour drives a day and, and you lose a fortune because you have to pay about 5,000 quid for your visas. And the latest one now is you go over and they tax you in each gig without telling you. So, like, you, you, you know, like you have to do a budget, so you, you're not, you try and work out a budget, yeah. you come back home and you think, God, man, did I lose that much? And it's all on paperwork, it's not even on gigs, it's actually on giving people money to give you a visa to allow you into the country. It's a ridiculous state. Of I tell you what, I mean, bands really should, you know, if they're working in the same kind of environment, I'm sure it's different for you too, but in the environment that you're working, you should probably film a tour like that and then put it out and then just send it as an education to a lot of bands because, you know, most bands, as we know, when they form, one of their ambitions is to go to America. It's, and, you, you know, know what, though? It's, it's, it's a graft and it's gruelling, mm. but it's actually amazing, you know, because... Yeah. Uh, Yes, it's 10, 12 hours a day, but you're driving through cactuses and amazing, like, landscapes and stuff. I mean, like, like Rob went out there to draw and came back as one of the great British photographers just on his, on his phone, just taking pictures oh, of everything. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to play with Jello Biafra. Well, there you go, you see. I mean, it's funny, because whenever, whenever anybody says, oh, I had to do this, I had to do that, I always go, it's nothing. I spent 16 hours in a van with Mark Smith going from <laughs> somewhere, somewhere to Tucson, and it's not really that hard. You've got a load of beer, and it's fine. Yes, it is, fi is it it fine. It is fine, Yes, well, I think rather you than me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I love the records. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, leave it there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> OK, so we have got the uh, Membranes live in session and the BIM Choir. So um, what are you going to do next? Uh, the universe explodes into a billion photons of pure white light. Fantastic.
to tell you that was just amazing really really great so um, membranes choir bim universe explodes into a billion photons of pure white light uh, john i mean don't hit me right that's promise i'm a hippie i know i know yeah. you. well funny enough you know i'm not going in exactly that direction <laughs> but in this scenario i mean that sounds almost like goblin or one of those kind of german prog bands that's well, okay. We like a lot of prog stuff. Good. Yeah, yeah. All right. You're, yeah. Not, you're definitely not going to hit yeah. me then. There's, there's a big crossover with punk and prog. It's all. It's just the press that made up all those divisions at the time, wasn't it? Good we man. We like everything, but we we came from Blackpool. We didn't understand the what was cool and what wasn't. I mean, how could we be cool? You know, it's, and Blackpool is a massive Hawkund thing at the same time. You know, you well, know, an God amazing bless band. Me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the great thing is that I get some grief in when I'm playing prog on here. What I need is you to come in every night, and when I get like email that's having a go at me, you can just explain as to why it's good that I play it and then yeah well, is that a deal? it can only be good because it's good kind of you play Van de Graaff and stuff like that yeah, you know, uh, a, a band that formed in Manchester nobody ever gives us that a mention do they absolutely yeah, some great stuff yeah <laughs> all right mate, Rob, well, Rob's a big massive prog fan well yeah. the case for the defence that's fine yeah yeah we're all on the same side well we're not have, people are too hung, hamstrung by being cool aren't they it's pointless it's a I'm pointless not. exercise isn't it yeah no, no I'm not you can tell I'm no. not definitely at least you came from Manchester you saw loads of cool gigs you always tell them all the cool gigs you went to see you know the membranes in Blackpool, in Blackpool there was nothing yeah <laughs> but there only was the membranes playing in church halls because that's the only gigs you could get at the time because the clubs wouldn't let you in because we were too young that's how long ago that's th this thing started well that was pre just before the second world war wasn't it and there weren't that many kind of, kind of those kind of times Mark yeah <laughs> listen you know well, the second world war to punk is actually a small amount of distance than it is from now to punk I mean when we we're, we're, like, look at us two old blokes about punk what the hell does this conversation mean to you you think I mean, it's like when we kids, people used to talk about the war, didn't they? It's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Remember yeah. Punk Mark? It was great, wasn't it? People weren't allowed to like prog rock at all, were they? They must be thinking, what the hell are they going on about? Well, everybody, <laughs> that, only the same as the listeners. But it is funny because I remember it is a real kind of like a throwback thing. But I remember you saying that you used to have to hide for, on, for the, the weekend when it was Scott's fortnight in, in, in Blackpool yeah. and they didn't like the punks. And no, you no, have, it was you pretty rough. It was, we were out, heavily outnumbered going into town. You, you would actually get beaten up and things, yeah. And that is like us talking yeah. about See, the war. Nick's from Blackpool as well. 
Yeah. Yeah. He, but he used to beat you up as well. <laughs> it's just bizarre. Right, I'm going to get my revenge now. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him. John, I've got a list of tour dates here throughout February, and, um, and these aren't with the choir. No, unless the promoters save up their pennies and mm. pay for the choir. Well, yeah. I think there's a. Well, like, welcome to offers. Yeah, yeah, the carrot has been dangled tonight. It has been amazing, and the reaction has been great, so you're not at all surprised. But uh, the 18th of February, you're playing the Thecla in Bristol, the 19th, the Globe in Cardiff, the 20th, Southampton Engine Rooms, 25th, Sheffield Plug, the 3rd of March, uh, Therapy, the Wardrobe. Is that with therapy? With therapy, yeah. All ah, yeah. right, okay, mate. Uh, the 12th of March, Rescue Rooms, the 25th of March, at West Garth Social Club in Middlesbrough, uh, two nights there, big in Middlesbrough. And then on the 14th of May, the Flapper. Uh, in uh, Sturminster Newton. See that? I, what is that? Is that? That's off that with those, you know, those internet uh, gig gig things. You know, right. they always have weird made up gigs. I mean, what is the flapper? <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody from the flapper in where was it? Stenhousemuir or no, Newton it's or Birmingham. something? Well, the flapper in Birmingham. Well, well what's the name? The, uh, the town? I've never even heard of the town. Sturminster <laughs> Newton. Do you know that? And tank? <laughs> no, even he's never heard of it. <laughs> so yeah, so we're doing uh, basically we're doing a therapy tour. Mm. We are doing some gigs with the choir though. We're going to do Manchester um, sometime. We haven't fixed a date yet, but it's in home cinema that used to be the corner house. Going to show a film, do a gig with a choir, an interview with scientists. It's, it's a universe explained little science event, like a little mini uh, festival of music and science. So we've done a couple of those. It's a bit like the one we did in Estonia. Yeah. And then some festivals over the summer, speaking to a lot of festivals, just waiting to confirm, because they start at the top of the bill and work their way down. Right. Yeah. So now they're working out who's third on the bill at Glastonbury and we're waiting for the call. Well, yeah. quite right at yeah. all. I'll tell you what, if you want any kind of heavy, heavyweight academics for home, I am available just to talk about the stars and stuff like that. That'll, that'll do. I mean, I, I have to ask them the questions. I mean... Yeah, you, well, absolutely. <laughs> imagine, imagine that's skating on thin ice because it's, it's a proper scientist, not... Not a made-up one, you know, it's not like a made-up bass player like myself. This is a proper scientist who can actually do his thing. And it's from the CERN Institute, and they explain the whole universe thing. And I sit there and nod my head, and somehow it looks wise. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's my attitude is saying like nothing, that. really. So, yeah. good on you. But the next time I'm interviewed, we want to get this woman who's written a great book about how dark matter wiped out the dinosaurs because it created uh, a ripple effect which caused the meteorite to hit the Earth to wipe out the dinosaurs. And she's written a book, and she's got the theory there's dark matter and dark energy, but also dark life. And that's amazing. What is dark life? And she said it's mm. this kind of weird stuff that floats between the cracks, but like dark matter does, but it's alive. And that concept is so weird, I want to know what that is. You're scaring me now, yeah. mate. It's scaring me. Yeah. Well, and I'll tell you what, I mean, I'll tell you what is great in here. Every, I mean, you know, even I am almost, but everybody's wearing black. The choir are all wearing yeah. black. Colour coordination that's, is important, that's yeah. That's the most important yeah. thing, I think. Never mind about we, music. We, we asked... Michelle, what colour you were wearing? So we just want to dress. It's a good job you didn't wear what you normally wear. <laughs> I normally wear a flowery dress, you know that, but not tonight. Well, we wouldn't mind you wearing a flowery, flowery dress. You know, that's, that's OK. Next we, time. We might not look that good in a flowery dress, but we have no problem wearing a flowery dress. Yeah. Leave it. <laughs> right, OK, so you've got one more song to do for us. What are you going to do for us, then? Uh, the Home of the Universe. Fantastic. OK, get to it. Thank you.
Well, they nailed it again. Thanks so much to the membranes tonight and to Claire and the ladies of the BIM Choir. It's just been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been really, really fantastic. Thank you so much indeed. And, uh, yeah, make sure you tell me when you got the gig coming up in Manchester. It was just, yeah, fantastic. Definitely, Mark. We might, might need you there to ask the questions. <laughs> yeah. Yes, abso <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, take care, you lot. See Bye. ya. Bye. It's all the dark, it's all the dark, it's all the dark, it's all the dark. It's all the dark, it's all the dark, it's all the dark, it's all the dark. It's all the dark.